Man, it's cold. Uh. So you're probably hoping for a VQ35 video or the brake lines video, but have you ever just had a project that goes on and on where you hit problem after problem and it's constantly having to redesign it to make it work and get everything to fit, waiting on parts, stuff like that? That's essentially what has happened here with the pedals. Now for me, this whole thing started just as a pure fluke. It was just a really quick idea I had where I really thought it'd be cool to have something non-original for the pedal, something aftermarket, something that looked really good with this car. And what I found were these awesome Wheelwood aftermarket brake pedals. They're a universal kit with whatever kind of swing rotation you want, anything like that. And when I first saw these, I thought they looked really clean and would look really good in the car. So that is really what sold me on this whole thing. Now, I really like these pedals. I think they look really good. And I especially like the fact that they're Wheelwood just to match everything else on the car. So I really like that everything can match and coalesce with each other as far as being all Wheelwood components. Really? Really? Why? <laughs> now being that these are designed to be a universal component for almost any car meant that it would involve a lot of designing, a lot of cutting and welding just to make these fit in the car along with getting the orientation right as far as distance to the firewall and with driver position. This is where a lot of the headache kind of started for me and a lot of the sort of R&D with this. Now I'm really happy with the overall setup I have and there are some advantages to doing this. One of which being these are all aluminum construction and they're really, really strong. Um, being that these are all aluminum, the original steel ones, which are very thick, um, there is some weight savings to that. Now I know that weight savings is probably very negligible compared to the total weight of the car. But if you're doing each project with the idea of weight savings in mind, the total weight savings adds up to be something really significant at the end of your build. Now again, this was not the purpose for me doing this. It was not to save a couple of grams here and there, maybe a pound. Overall, the whole thing was an aesthetic choice because I just think these look really good. And I think they'll look really good with the kind of minimal interior I'm gonna have in this car. Having said that, Wilwood really designs these to be really strong and really durable. I really like the overall quality and engineering that goes into these. Now, this is not the actual kind of orientation that these were in when I received them, but they are very adaptable units where you can switch pedals back and forth, change the orientation, change it to fit your needs in your car. So this allowed me a really cool standpoint to build as I wanted and to build this in a way that I thought would fit both myself very well and the car. Now overall, I'm really happy with the end product. It just took a lot longer than I thought to do. Being that there was no real guide for this and this was sort of new territory and build it as you see fit, I was really excited to get to do a project like this because it's, well, kind of been a while. The thing I really like about doing projects like this is they allow me to focus and really hone in on certain skills, including designing, engineering, welding, a lot of the stuff that comes in need of projects like this. But most importantly, I just like being able to do stuff as I want. I think this is cool for this car. It may not suit a lot of you guys with Datsuns. You may want the original setup, which is totally cool. But, you know, dare to think differently. I just saw this as a really cool opportunity to just kind of have fun with this car and do something a little different than every other Datsun out there. Now, having said that, I'll show you a lot of the stuff that had to go into doing something like this, especially with the pedal box. Almost all of it had to get cutted out and scrapped just to even start with something remotely able to fit these pedals. Now I started with the brake and clutch setup because I knew that would be most important in the car, especially considering the new roll cage that's in there and the mounting point in the floor. Now the biggest challenge for that is the clutch and brake offset that the original pedals have. Being where the clutch and the brake master cylinders are on the back side of the firewall made it somewhat of a challenge to get the pedals exactly where I needed them.
happy with the overall orientation and spacing of where the pedals ended up. They, they hang perfectly, they're the right depth from the firewall, they're easy to reach, uh, really everything I can ask for. Now I also decided I wanted to do the throttle pedal also from the pedal box. Now this meant doing a sort of arm extension out of the side. Now I decided to do this really more just because I could. Um, I really like that the spacing will be equal with the other pedals and it keeps it off of the firewall. Now attaching the spring and doing a throttle cable will be something I'll do in a future video when I start tackling the engine once it's mounted in the car and doing the intake, plenum, and all of that because I don't know yet exactly how I want to run the throttle cable. But overall I'm really happy with the entire setup here. I think it looks really good and it even has some benefits as far as being in the car. Now in doing something like this there are a lot of things you have to keep in mind. Um, everything from pedal position and orientation to driver seating to even the pedal box itself and make sure everything meets up. But I'm really happy to do projects like this that really make me think and make me design and build something that's really, really cool. So for something as trivial as pedals and something like this, I think the product turned out really, really cool, but it did take significantly longer than I thought. Now, also on this topic, something else I want to talk about that I mentioned in the before update video is with the driver's seats. Now, ultimately, I'm really glad I tackled the pedals now instead of down the road because I've realized those Bride GI seats don't fit. More specifically, they don't fit me. Now, I'm at six foot, and by the time I got the pedals in, the seat couldn't go any farther back, and I was out of legroom. Um, it was really uncomfortable, and really would make for a headache to drive. Now having approached this from almost every angle, the thing about those bright GSCs is they have mechanisms in them to recline and for sliders to go front and back. Unfortunately those things hit that kind of rear bulkhead behind the seat and basically I, I just can't get any further back. But that's not too much of a problem. Um, I am going to have to forgo those seats though, which is kind of sad but they've allowed me to get these. These are Bride VO seats, or however you want to pronounce it, V-I-O-S. They will be side mounted and I'm building rails on both the driver and passenger side to fit these. Now they look very similar to the GI seats, but I really like the pure black finish they have minus the red stitching. Um, I think they look really good. They'll make the interior just really calm, but very, very nice. And then to mount them, I'll be using just steel side rails. Um, now I opted for these just to get an idea for driver position, but given that I have to clear that kind of rear bulkhead is why I went with these to make sure I get spacing high enough to clear it. The other thing I like is that in some way they are very adjustable. <laughs> um, so for now this is what I'll be doing. Uh, we'll probably switch to an aluminum setup for side rails in the future, but for now just to get a basic idea, I just went with these. They're pretty cheap, found them off eBay, but I'll mount the seat. 
um, and hopefully clear that completely. So, as for now, those are the problems that I've been able to tackle with both the pedal and the seats. Um, and again, I know, hoping for a VQ35 video, or at least a brake line video. Brake lines are actually pretty much done. I've just got to finish a few parts and, and then I'll make that video. But for now, I wanted to do these. Now, originally, I was going to have the pedals as part of the brake line video, but once this project became just an animal all its own, I decided it would just be way better <laughs> to just do its own video for this to explain why I'm doing it and what all that entails. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I know it's probably not the most exciting part of the car, but I think it's a project that's really, really cool. Hopefully you guys can take something away from it. and. Yeah, ho hopefully I'll finally be able to get into a lot of the really cool stuff with the engine and get this thing going. But, of course, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the views that you guys have, all the subscribers that are keeping up with this build. It means so much to me. So definitely stay tuned. I promise brake lines are coming out. That's another custom part to this that took a little bit of learning. But the overall product, I think, is going to look really, really good. Um, I really want to make something that is really great quality looks really good and is designed really well so thank you so much for all your patience and just holding on for the next video for now um but hopefully i'll be a little bit better as i learn more and am able to put these out faster and faster so thank you guys so much uh just stay tuned i promise stuff is coming out it's in the pipeline it's just taking a little while but again thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video